Neurons. Your brain has about a hundred billion neurons. Hundred billion of these guys. This is Nuri the neuron, and each neuron in your brain is connected to thousands of other neurons, which means there's somewhere near this number of connections in your brain, and all of your thoughts and emotions and all the things you feel are signals sent between that complex system of neurons in your brain and through your spinal cord and your nerves. And in this video, we're gonna learn the structure of the neuron as well as how each little part functions together to send those signals and make your body do all the things that it does and control all of the other systems of your body. Let's head to the whiteboard. So let's take a look at the structure of a neuron. Wonderman, where's your mask? The neuron has a cell body, just like any other cell, and out of that cell body are all of these appendages sticking out, and we call those appendages dendrites. The dendrites are really a receiving appendage. They're gonna take in information from thousands of other neurons, neurons in your brain, neurons in your spinal cord or in your cranial nerves, that are all taking information up into your brain to be processed. One of the appendages that's sticking out of the cell body, though, is called the axon. And the axon is gonna send information away from the neuron to other neurons or muscle cells in the body. You can easily identify where the axon is. It's gonna be the single really long appendage sticking out of the cell body. And the whole purpose of that axon is to transmit signals from the cell body to more neurons or eventually to muscle cells or different organs at the other end of that axon. Now at the very beginning or proximal part of that axon, check out directional terms, is a small bulge or bump we call the axon hillock. The axon hillock is the site where the neuron decides, am I gonna send a signal or am I not gonna send a signal? So all of this information comes in from the dendrites. Some will be excitatory telling this neuron to fire. Some will be inhibitory saying, hey, don't, don't send a signal. And basically it's a tug of war and whichever side wins, excitatory or inhibitory, that'll determine if a signal gets sent down the axon to give some information to the next neuron or organ cell down the road. Now that signal travels really fast. But the neuron has another type of cell present on it that can speed up that signal many, many times faster. Our brains are processing so much complex information, it's really important that those signals get sent as fast as possible. That signal that's sent down the axon is called an action potential. In another video, we'll learn all about action potentials and how they work and why it's called an action potential. But for now, just know when I say action potential, I'm talking about a signal that the neuron can send. Now these specialized cells, which act as a myelin sheath, wrap around the axon of the neuron to insulate it. What that does is allows the action potential to skip between little open section to open section, which we see on this diagram, and they're called the nodes of Ron VA. The nodes of Ron VA, which I'm pretty sure every anatomy teacher in the world likes to say in that ridiculous way nodes of Ron VA. Hmm. By allowing the signal to jump from node to node along the axon, it speeds up the action potential up to 10 times faster than it otherwise would be. And in fact, there's a disease that's the breakdown of myelin sheets, and you may have heard of it, you may know somebody who has it, called multiple sclerosis. In multiple sclerosis, the body's own immune system damages the myelin sheets, which slow down the action potential signals that our brain is sending, or sometimes stop them altogether, which is why multiple sclerosis can lead to so many different varied symptoms. So these myelin sheets are very important, and the main thing is they speed up the signal or the action potential that the neuron sends to other neurons and muscles. Now the particular myelin sheath cell that we see in this diagram of this neuron is called a Schwann cell. The Schwann cell is gonna be a single cell that just wraps around or insulates that axon. You can see that here in the diagram. There's another type of cell called an oligodendrocyte, such a long name. But for now, just know that a Schwann cell is a type of myelin sheath that speeds up the action potential. And I'll have another video that will talk about all the different types of neuroglial cells that support our neurons and help them function better. Now, once that signal gets to the very end or the distal end of the axon, it reaches what we call an axon terminal. A terminal is just an ending of something, like an airport terminal, where you leave the airport and go onto the airplane. That's a terminal. Here's where the signal is gonna essentially leave the axon and go to another neuron so that signal can be sent even farther. This connection where the axon terminals of one neuron connect to the dendrites of another neuron is called a synapse. I'm gonna have a whole other video on synaptic transmission and how the signal gets sent from one neuron to another through the synapse. So for now, just know the synapse, that's where those neurons connect. 
even though they actually don't physically touch, and you can see that in the video here, there's a little gap called the synaptic cleft, which is where that signal gets transferred. So here on the video, you can see where information from other neurons are coming into our neuron cell. And down here on the other side, you can see where our signal has traveled down the axon of the neuron to the axon terminals, where that information get passed on to more neurons or muscle cells or whatever cells are down the line. And we're just looking at one neuron here, but again, we have a hundred billion of these things in our brain and each one connects to thousands of other neurons, which means our brains are incredibly complex and all of the thoughts and feelings that we have are signals firing within our brain. All right, quick recap with Nuri here. Nuri has dendrites, which bring information into the cell. Nuri has a soma or cell body, just like any other cell. Nuri has an axon, that sends information down the length of the cell to axon terminals, which connect to other neurons in what we call synapses. I don't think Nuri has any here, but many neurons have myelin sheets made of Schwann cells or oligodendrocytes that line the axon and speed up the action potential signals that they send. The space between each of those is called the nodes of Ron VA, and that's where that action potential signal jumps from one to the next. And at the beginning of the axon, there's an axon hillock where that signal will start before it gets sent down the rest of the axon. Great, let's go ahead and test yourself now. Pause the video and see if you can identify each structure in the neuron that you see right here, as well as what each part of that neuron does. We have the dendrites, which bring information in. We have the cell body, where information is processed. We have the axon hillock, which is where an action potential or signal will start if the neuron sends one. We have the axon, which conducts the action potential signal to other neurons later on. We have the myelin sheaths or Schwann cells, which are gonna insulate the neuron and speed up the action potentials. We have the nodes of Rambier, which are just spaces between each myelin sheath that allow that signal to jump from one node to another. And at the distal end of the neuron, we have axon terminals. These connect to other neurons via tiny synapses where that signal will get transferred to another neuron so it can be processed there and maybe send more signals down the road. So those are the basics of a neuron and how neurons work. If you wanna know about the structural and functional classes of neurons, I've got a video on that. All right, hope that was helpful. Don't forget to keep learning and thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Terry here. Just hope y'all are doing well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that stuff. Hey, uh, Mortimer, do you think people should like, comment, and subscribe and all that? Oh, yeah, definitely, Terry. Definitely like this video. Don't forget to watch more videos and make sure you study hard. That's the truth. No bones about it. I'm sorry you had to see that. I should probably edit that out.